So we're starting things off talking about this, the M103. This is a $650 electric unicycle, 800 watts, maximum speed of 23 miles an hour. But you know, you'd be lucky. Yeah, if you're gonna go 20 miles an hour with, with this, bring, bring, some, bring some good luck, do a rain dance, something. But uh, let's talk about why you might really, really like this. Why would you get the M103? Well, a lot of people tend to think that this is a beginner wheel but it's not, it's not really a beginner wheel uh, because it turns everything into a ginormous adventure. Not the type of adventure where you're like well equipped, but the type of adventure where you're like, I wonder if this rickety lifeboat will make it across the English Channel. So, so why did I get it? Well, the M103 is very, very special in the way that it teaches you things like how to spin it, how to go backwards. So I'll try and hurt myself for you. So let's talk about spinning, right? Uh, the M103 can spin like no other unicycle, period. No other unicycle. on this thing. Look at the maneuverability. It's crazy. It can help you learn things like how to switch. Oh yeah. It's almost like I'm on an ice rink. So this, this is why you would get an M103 because it's 650 bucks and all you need is a parking space. You need, you need this, you need this much space to have this much fun on the M103, okay? That's how it works. Do it. Okay. Oh man. Oh. Now I'm better with my left hand spin than I am with my. Oh man. stuff on a bigger wheel. I mean you could if you're like amazing but this is so good at teaching you control. Big wheel simulator. I promise I'm not like manufacturing excitement. Every time I get on this wheel, this is so exciting. I love this thing. I love it. Ah. Oh, oh. There's just, there's just nothing else like it. There is, there is nothing like the M103. Nothing. Not a, not a single thing you can compare it to. That's enough fun for now. It also makes everything challenging. Like if if you want to be challenged, get an M103. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try this. <laughs> Woo! 
You know, ultimately, uh, I view this wheel as, let me take this off so you can see me. I view this wheel as like probably the best second wheel you could ever get. Uh, much like what Marty Beck said, he is not lying. Uh, if you feel like your skills are not progressing on other unicycles, you need to just, just buy one. Just, just buy one. Um, get it. And then you'll everything will be better you'll be a better rider because this thing just teaches you it just teaches you over and over and over again to go outside of the boundary of your comfort zone switchbacks riding backwards spinning you know everything is at like one-fifth scale so so yeah that's the m103 so 650 bucks definitely like an adventure machine don't don't expect to be don't expect to be commuting across your city with this thing you can like it's possible but you, you really want to, look, look, you, you, you really want to commute on this thing? Because I do. Okay, so what's next? What is the, uh, what is the next wheel? Let's go get it. All right, M103. You're about to be replaced for video purposes. Don't let anybody tell you you're not a real wheel. Okay. Okay, so. This is a Gotway Test Life. It's about 1400 bucks. And why would you want this one? Well, it looks cool. And it's got lights. But more so than that, this one has a very interesting riding characteristic. Uh, let's talk about it. There it is, the Tesla. So, okay, besides the fact that I think that this is probably the most dense amount of value you can get in any personal electric vehicle. I mean, just talking about like performance, range, price, all that stuff, this kind of, this is kind of the best deal out there, but the thing that I really, really like about this wheel is with the 16 inch tire and with the thin two and a half inch profile of the tire, it just kind of glides. If you're looking for like a glider uh, where you just want to like float around and be on a cloud all day, the Tesla is kind of just so unique in the way that it rides. I want to see if I can show this off. It has plenty of power as well. Like it's a really zippy wheel. It's got tons of power, but it's just the way that it rides and makes you feel. Let's go over here. Why you might want it. 
So, why would you want this wheel? I think if you're the type of person that's just looking to commute, you know, have a really solid ride, you want stability. And if you want value, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of value here. This is a very fun wheel. It's super zippy. Like I said, like this thing really gets off the line. The 16 inch tire and just the form factor, it's easy to carry around. It's got a really nice trolley handle. So I think like if, if, if you're the person that just really wants a solid wheel to just kind of work and, and it's not the most off-road friendly, I gotta say, it's not really off-road friendly. You can do it, you can do it, but like, you know, it's a challenge, just like the M103 is a challenge anywhere. Uh, you've got the M103, which is definitely an enthusiast wheel, you know, really teaches you technical riding. Then you have something like the Tesla, and the Tesla is a very, very comfortable wheel. It's a very stable wheel. It's very, you know, very zippy, you know, definitely for that person who's intermediate. is just perfectly settled down in the intermediate class. Okay. Two wheels down. Let's talk about the third one. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Wheel number three, the Gotway MSP. Why, why would you want something like this? Well, for starters, it's definitely the biggest among the three, right? M103 is hilariously small. The Tesla is right smack dab in the middle. And then this thing is much bigger, much more powerful, much more capable. Kind of, kind of silly, actually, if, if you think about the power that this thing has. Why, why do I like it? Why do I, why do I choose this as my daily driver? Well, let's talk about it. the MSP? Why would you be a person to get the MSP? Well, first of all, it costs $2,000, so it's expensive. Um, and secondly, it has an enormous amount of power. So if you're a heavier rider, you know, this has a, an absurd amount of torque. Like, I don't, I don't know of a single person on YouTube who has been able to over lean or over torque the MSP. Just there's so much torque here, it's ridiculous. Um, and thirdly, you might notice my pedals are quite a lot higher than on the Tesla. You can really dig and really carve with the MSP. Ah! That was a good run. So you look at this thing, and you've got this big, fat, three-inch wide tire. And this seems to be kind of the right amount of width for humans. The width offers a lot more sort of traction uh, on things like dirt and uh, off-road, which this is one of the best off-road wheels out there. Uh, it'll climb and climb and climb for days. It'll just keep climbing. I mean, if you've ever seen Chooch's videos, he's like climbing four, four mountains out in the, the Rockies every day with his MSP. This wheel is big, bulky, it's heavy. It's not the most convenient. You would definitely want to buy this if you're like, if you're into it, if, if you're into the sport and, and you want to, you want to have the most amount of power available. You know, it's not the fastest wheel, but I think it's right for me until of course I get my V11. And then uh, until of course, when I get my Sherman, I have a problem, okay? Uh, buy, buy a wheel down below and it helps me out with my problem. Thanks. So this thing really is the adventure wheel. If you want to go across your city and then onto a fire road and then go up the fire road and then, you know, claim the mountain and stick your flag on the, the 
very tippy top, then this is this is that wheel, okay? This is what's gonna do it. But it's nowhere near as like fun in small, confined, slow speed riding as the M103, right? Nowhere even close. The M103 takes the cake as far as fun without having you know, a good environment. The M103 makes anything fun. A parking space is fun in the M103, whereas this thing goes so far and so fast and has so much power that you need, you need to, uh, oh, look at all the bagels. All the bagels. Um, this thing goes so fast and so, so far without any problems that you kind of need an adventure to match it. You need a plan and an adventure and a ride for this thing to be happy uh, and that's why I like it because these things are all about ex exploration for me uh, it's all about just seeing the city that I would never see if I was just stuck in my car all day uh, so if you're into the adventure you would get this wheel if you're into the commute you would get the Tesla if you're into the fun technical riding you would get the M103. Whew. I just passed 300 subscribers. I can't even believe it. Thank you all so, so much. I promise I'm going to continue making content because I love these things. I love PEVs. I think they're the future. I hope you stay safe. Wear some gear. Have fun out there, guys. I'll see you in the next one.